What's going on guys, Zulzi here and welcome back to a brand new video. So today, 88 in form in senior. He does obviously have a better card. He has the scream card, but that card is worth 750k. I personally, I do think that card is overpriced, but we have got a cheaper version of Insignia now. 365k and his stats look insane. 90 pace, 92 dribbling, 82 shooting, 86 passing, 49 physical. The only thing I would love to increase there is probably his shooting. Other than that, he looks like an outrageous card. Five foot four. Way, way below the meta height. The meta height is five foot eight, five foot seven. Five foot four? This is probably going to be the smallest person that I've ever reviewed, hands down. High medium work rate, the perfect work rate to an attacker. Four star weak foot is going to be nice. I'm going to be able to cut in with his left and shoot, obviously, with it. And four star skill moves is nice as well. Standing scoop turn, the burber spin, all of that should feel very, very nice with him. Now, he is on a dead, dead eye chemistry star. Sorry about that. 10 chem, obviously. 95 acceleration, 84 sprint speed. The sprint speed is not the greatest, but he should accelerate instantly into the space and should be very, very fast. Uh, 99 attacking positioning, 94 finishing, 92 shot power, 93 uh, long shots, 76 volleys, and 75 penalties. Finishing, he looks insane and it's incredible. Everything should be going in inside the box. Now he has 98 short passing, 98. 93 uh, curve, 78 long passing, uh, 82 free kick accuracy, 92 crossing, 99 vision. He should be able to kind of play in that cam role as well, looking at his passing stats, because he's got that 99 vision, which is obviously going to help with the long passing. Now, 95 agility, 94 balance, 94 reaction, 94 ball control, 90 dribbling, and 83 composure. I expected Insigne's dribbling stats to be high simply because. He is kind of five foot four, and to a five foot four player to play to their best ability, it looks like their dribbling could be spot on. Now his dribbling is unbelievable. He's going to be able to turn fast. He's going to feel very very nice on the ball. The only thing I'm worried about this card is that he's five foot four and he might be getting bullied. For example, 41 strength, 35 aggression. That strength is so bad. If a person even touches him, even pokes him, puts a little finger, puts a little finger on him. He's going to fall over or just like tumble to a side. And hopefully he doesn't do that. 75 stamina. Personally, I don't believe that is enough for a person that's high medium work rates with that amount of stamina, uh, that amount of pace. So you might have to get a super sub for this guy. Now, I've linked him up today with Pele and Hernandez. I've also got like Adama, Kante and Dembele in the team. I will be using Insigne in a 4-4-2 him up front with probably Pele. And then I will kind of switch up to a 4-2-3-1. And play him down the wing because I really want to test him out on the wing. But let's get straight into the games. And Senye on the turn. Oh, that was just, that wasn't the greatest turn, was it? It was quite actually slow. Now this guy is part of the bus as well, so we'll take that into account. What a ball! Oh my god. That is beautiful play. The fact that Insigne can do that, like, driven pass to Pelé is unbelievable. There's a lot, I mean a lot of people I've tried that with. And simply, that it hasn't came out correctly. It hasn't got the accuracy, it hasn't got the power. But 98 short passing, we have to really, really look at that and see how good of a passer Insigne really is. That's beautiful. Oh, that's a tackle from the back. But did you see how fast Insigne just turned him inside out? He get Also, one thing I love about that is that he gave me the passing option to pass inside. A lot of strikers don't really do that. They tend to just like back away and allow, I don't know, Pele to do whatever he wants. But I like how Insigne gave me the passing option there. Kind of hit a near post shot. Not the most powerful shot. The accuracy was there, but I wanted, a, you know, a bit more oomph on that. That's unlucky, to be fair. Yeah, a bit more oomph on that would have that pretty good would have gone in. Use that pace. Get that facial around the corner. Referee. Just as you can see, Insigne is just too fast for him. Right there, that facial around the corner gave him that acceleration that he needed just to absolutely blister past that uh, past the centre back. Insigne's close quarter dribbling is insane. I was probably focusing there just to kind of really look at how he dribbles the ball. Now, the one thing I am having a problem with right now is simply, it's just simply kind of 
if I turn with him, he, the ball doesn't get pushed further enough to kind of me to do my next skill move, which makes it very, 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 very easy to my opponent to actually tackle him. So that's the one problem I'm having. Nice turn. Can I hit a near post shot there? Unbelievable finish. Now him obviously getting that dead eye chemistry style. His finishing is so, so good inside the box. And you really, really have to look at that simply because the inform without the chemistry style, his finishing is not the greatest. And you can clearly see through the stats. And as soon as you give that dead eye chemistry style to him, look at it. 94 finishing. And as you can clearly see, nice little footwork. And it blasts straight into the back of the net. Nice little spacing. I'm going to get a turn. And am I going to get a finish? It was a nice shot. A very, very nice turn. That's one thing I did realise from Insigne. Is the fact that he can collect the ball on the move. So he kind of collects the ball and drags it round to where he wants to shoot it. Like that. It's super, super fast. He doesn't wait at all for it. And that's one thing I love to see. Insigne down the wing. Oh, look at this pace. I know it wasn't the greatest defending. The ball right up. Go around that corner. Uh, that's one thing I do realise, and that's the one thing I hate kind of about using small players. Well, actually, let's go for a finesse here. What a shot. What a goal. But yeah, this is the one thing I hate about using uh, small players is simply because the ball doesn't get pushed far, far, like, far enough to kind of do the skill move. For example, the ball roll. With the ball roll, it gives you an angle that opponent doesn't expect. Okay? With Insigne being 5'4", it, when he does the ball roll, it's like me just simply moving to the right. It doesn't give you that angle that, I don't know, it's just, it's just a way of kind of gives the opponent an easier way to tackle. If you're, if you're like the player you're doing it with is smaller. That's where, I don't know what it comes down to, but we'll finish by the way. What a run. Can I hit this back stick? Oh, what a ball. Ah, just couldn't get a finish. But I'm loving Insigne down the wing right now. And I must admit, I actually prefer him running down the wing rather than him at, at, like, at the striker position. Because if he does get that chance down the wing, yes, he will bury it. But his pace is so crucial down the wing right now. Once again, he's given me a finesse option. And you can't give Insigne that finesse option. Simply because he's going to do that every single time you can really see how overpowered his long shots are at a, like an angle of a finesse it's just so clinical so powerful the accuracy is incredible and it's going to make players do that oh look at that touch from insignia that's exactly what you don't want to see and this is why i kind of said i do prefer him down the wing than actually up front that's perfect I'm going to trust on his weaker foot here. Maybe I should have done the full turn. I didn't expect my opponent to defend like this at all. Look at that. I should have done that turn into that big ass space. And I could have gone easy finish. Even though it wasn't a terrible shot of his weaker foot to be fair. That's an unbelievable pass. And that's a rocket. He's finishing at that E post. I think I've scored three goals at that near post or four. And they're just going in every single time. I don't know. He, it's like he loves that corner. There's like a certain corner he loves. And it's going in left, right and centre. I've took this shot. This exact shot. Two finesses. One power shot. From the exact same position. And all three times they have gone in. If that doesn't show how clinical he is. And how consistent he is. I don't really know at this point. Look at that. That's one thing. That you're never going to get from like a striker. Just a normal striker. The fact that he's got 98 short passing. It's going to give him impossible. And when I mean impossible. I mean literally impossible angles to pass a through ball. Nice little skill move. Going to fake it. Turn into the gap. Ooh, that was nice agility. Nice dribbling. But I couldn't send my opponent the wrong way. That's very unfortunate. Can he play this first time over the top? Look at this passing man. He can low-key play in a cam role if you really want him to as well. That's unbelievable. That's unbelievable. Oh, just couldn't get the finish there. I don't think it was going to go in from that angle, but with Insigne, you never know at this point. Play that over the top with the weaker foot. 
just incredible. The way he can pass these balls is just insane. Insigne. What a ball. My God. Oh, I just couldn't get the shot off. But do you see the threaded needle? The fact that he can do it with both feet as well helps a lot. Now, that right there, he should have intercepted that. But because he's got that five foot four kind of reach to him, he didn't kind of get to the ball. Going to use his pace to kind of just go down that wing. We're going to continue sprinting. He's going to think I'm going to cut back. Use that pace. I wanted it to give it to Dembele there. But do you see how, in a way, his acceleration was amazing. But he kind of got caught up. And that is simply because, yes, he has got that 85 sprint speed, which means he's going to slow down. Is he Oh, he's using strength there. Oh, my God. I can't believe it. He used strength to body the centre back, hold him off. He's five foot four, and he's doing that. With by the way, what a finish! Like honestly, that is an insane finish to have a player on you and to finish like that. That is definitely something I don't see every day. So it is time to review him, and I did enjoy this card. But at some point, you kind of have to really. Get into the meta of this game and realise that a five foot four player, unless you're playing him cam, is not really the way to go in this game. Now, high medium work rates, perfect work rates. I enjoyed that a lot. Four star weak foot, very nice. Could be able to shoot that uh, weak foot and pass with that weak foot, which is important. The four star skill moves, not the greatest. I feel like the burrow spin is usually used at best. For bigger players like the 5'10", 5'11", or even the 6 foot, And simply because they kind of put their body in the way of the defender. That leads to them not really getting the ball off you. With a 5'4 player, one, the ball doesn't really go very far. Two, he, he can't put his body in the way. Simply because he's going to get completely bodied off the ball. And just three, it's like the ball's not going to go far enough to kind of get a defender off. Like, you know, off-putting in a way. Now... The uh, 95 acceleration was insane, but I do believe the sprint speed needs to go up 100%. Simply because he was getting into the rhythm of running down a wing like there was no tomorrow. But then when he kind of got there, he was getting caught up very, very easily. Because that 85, uh, 85 sprint speed slows him down a lot. Finishing incredible. There was a certain spot that I actually scored three goals from, which was actually quite surprising. Now, the fact is, this guy's hitting it bottom bins every single time. And it's insane. His finishing is not a joke. And I do suggest buying this card over the Scream card. Because the Scream card is way overpriced. But wait, you, you guys have to wait for tomorrow. Simply because this card will drop in price 100% of uh, because of Twitch Jam Awards. So I do suggest if you are going to get Insigne in form, just wait for, the, uh, wait for uh, tomorrow to get him. Because this card, if you put a dead eye on him, he's pretty much the Scream card and there's no difference. Passing incredible. I can't tell you enough how good this guy's passing is. The best position I would say for this guy is down the wing. And the fact that he can pass like that down the wing is insane. He's crossing. He's crossing ability. He's short passing ability. The link up plays. Unbelievable. Agility. Felt very, very nice on the ball. The way he could take one touch and kind of while turning into the time, like into the, like at the same time in a way, to just get that shot off was incredible to see. His balance was insane. Ball control was nice at some points. Yes, sometimes he was taking bad touches. And I kind of see that towards going his composure. Like his 83 composure kind of leads towards if a kind of big guy, aka okay, Van Dyke or, you know, that headline is Chris Smalling's coming towards him. It's too easy to them to tackle him because he is 5 for 4. All they have to do is click B from the back. And most likely it won't be a foul because they can go around his body. And that's why I kind of think he was taking bad touches because he wasn't even calm, composed in them situations and he would take a bad touch. Stamina. You guys, uh, use this guy down the wing, okay, if you're going to get him. But that stamina, you need to get a super sub for him, please. Strength and aggression. I didn't believe 41 strength, was it? He actually felt stronger than he actually was. Also, his aggression, that is a lie. 35, I believe he's in the 60s. But the strength and aggression, I, th I think they disrespected him a bit too much. That's all I'm going to say. But I have to give this card a rating out of 10. I liked him. He was good. I'm going to give him an 8 out of 10. The reason I'm not going to give him a 9 out of 10 is simply because I feel like 5 or 4 is way too small in this game. And people just body you way too often. And they do bully small players. 
And the reason I'm not going to give him a 10 out of 10 is simply because, one, the stamina, two, the sprint speed. Other than that, you got yourself an insane card. If you guys did enjoy this play review though, leave a like, leave a comment, and for now, peace.